Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 521 of lead code called Longest Uncommon Sequence Part 1. And before I start with the problem statement guys, I just want to request you to do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for future notifications, write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. And guys, in the end, give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends as well. Now without making any further delay, let's get started. So guys, the problem statement basically states that we have got two strings, string A and string B. So for example, in this case, string A is ABA and string B is CDC. We have to find out the longest uncommon subsequence. So for example, let's say A, B, A and C, D, C. As in both these strings, they are completely different and the length of both the strings is same. So the longest common of, uh, subsequence length will be 3 because both of them are completely different and uh, that's why the output is 3. Because both the lengths are also 3. Let's see another input. We have got one string AAA, another string BBB. Again, we see that both the strings are different. So that's why the output is 3 because it's the length of the maximum uncommon subsequence. And in this case, as both are having length 3, so that's why the answer is 3. In another example, we see that both A and B are the same string, exact same string. So AAA and also B is also same AAA. So in that case, if there is no uncommon sequence, we get the output minus 1. Okay. So uh, the constraints are also pretty straightforward guys that both the lengths of the arrays is from 1 to 100. They both contain lowercase English letters. Now let's jump to the solution. So guys, by the looks of uh, this problem, it might feel a little bit tricky, but actually it is very, very simple. Let's see one example here. So I have already gone through all the other examples, but let's see another examples. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So let's suppose this is uh, string number A and string number B is sort of like a subset of this string subset of this string it is only from a b c d to e okay so now if i ask you guys a question that if i want to find out the longest uncommon subsequence between both these strings what will be the answer so some of you might get confused with these words like longest uncommon subsequence and you might take the brute force approach of actually comparing all the characters of this uh, smaller string with all the characters of the longer string to see which characters are not matching and in the same sequence and then adding that length up and finally coming up with the solution. So I would definitely say this brute force approach is not the good approach for this questions because actually this question is really simple if you just understand it pretty well. So what does uncommon subsequence means? Uncommon subsequence means guys that what are the characters? Uh, I mean if I put up some characters which are uh, which sequence of characters is not equal to the sequence of uh, characters in the second string. So in this case if I say a, B, C, D, E is definitely equal to the string B. But if I add F, G and H also with A, B, C, D and E and this becomes a different subsequence, is this subsequence common with the subsequence of B? No, it is actually uncommon. And also because the length of this string is greater than the length of B, so this also becomes the longest uncommon subsequence as well okay so basically subsequence is a string of characters which are not equal which is not equal to the string of character in the second string and here we see that if two strings are not equal to each other i mean to say not exactly equal to each other it means that they both are having a uncommon subsequence 
In that case, what we have to find out is which string is the longer string. So in this case, it's the string A, which is the longer string. And we just have to return the length of the longest string because that's the longer uncommon sequence. Okay. So I hope the solution approach is clear to you guys. So I'll just delete this now and let's jump to the exact code. So what we have said, if A equals B, so if both A and B string are actually equal, in that case we have to return minus 1. But if they are both not equal, then what we will do, we will just find out the maximum length string and that length will become the length of the longest uncommon subsequence. Okay, so that becomes the code. Let's run this code guys. Let's see if this works with all the other. Uh, yes, it works with this test case and hopefully it will be accepted for all other test cases as well. So there you go guys, you can see that the solution is accepted. So they, there it is guys, it was just a two line code uh, solution. Uh, but this question sometimes tricks the people who are going into these coding interviews. Okay, so let's see the time complexity. Uh, first of all, the time complexity, guys, is definitely order of n. And in this case, we can see that we can say that n is actually the length uh, of of the shorter string. Okay, uh, basically, when we are doing this equals function, so this equals function is going to compare all the characters of a with all the characters of b. So that will take order of n, uh, basically order of n length, and that's why this. Uh, time complexity is order of n so that becomes the time complexity and space complexity is definitely order of one here why because we are not using any extra uh, data object okay so that was a uh, video guys that was the solution for this really easy question but i hope that uh, now your coding practice became a little bit better and you understood the solution as well uh, if you have guys, then do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends as well, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for future notifications, write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me, any feedback is welcome guys. And uh, I make your videos almost every single day and uh, from Monday to Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my, in my next video. Until then, bye bye.